Peggy 18. <laughs> the dead just keep coming. They must be responding to the relic. We still don't know what this relic is or what it can do. Peggy 18. Peggy, 18. In 1945, Hitler summoned a Nazi zombie army and left Europe in ruins. He was defeated by the resistance and cast into the fires of hell. One year later, his hordes still roam the earth, but in the shadows, a terrible new darkness rises. This is Zombie Army 4 Dead War. Survive a diabolical story campaign featuring massive levels, teeming with gruesome terrors and demonic monstrosities. Visit Venetian canals swarming with the drowned dead. Enter a grotesque zoo where all hell has broken loose. And visit a towering volcano overflowing with molten despair. Face Hitler's Legion of the Dead alone, or join up to three other survivors in brutal four-player co-op action. Undead Nazi Scourge returns with strange new powers and is a greater threat than ever seen before. They swarm in massive hordes, march relentlessly, and pursue you from afar with an inexorable bloodthirst and deadly accuracy. And when they push you to breaking point, they send in the elites great hulks of undead flesh who employ flamethrowers, chainsaws, and heavy machine guns with no remorse. The curse of the dead has infected more than just human flesh. Face hideous zombie war machines. Avoid snarling, rotting sharks. The army of the dead features harbingers of annihilation like no other. Your 
Your only chance is to fight back with every weapon you have. Your primary rifle lets you snipe zombies from afar. Your secondary shotgun or machine gun tears apart bloodthirsty hordes up close. And in a pinch, your trusty pistol lets you kill with precision. Each weapon class also features a special ability. Take a deep breath to perform a long-range brain-busting overkill. Tear through enemies with unstoppable power. Line up a quick-fire chain of killer headshots. When Hitler's hordes get too close for comfort, use melee executions to take them down and restore your health. Or special melee attacks to control the crowd. Take advantage of your environment. Deploy trigger decoys rigged to explode and set off electrified floors and devilishly whirring blades. Use items like lethal grenades, mines and tripwires to outwit your enemies and turn them into bloody pulp. Then enjoy their timely demise in Rebellion's trademark X-Ray Kill Cam. Expanded for gut-wrenching explosive kills. The hordes of the dead are also susceptible to elemental damage. Throw flaming grenades to burn your enemies to tinder. Use divine energy to heal teammates and weaken infernal spawn. There are 100 ranks in Zombie Army 4, each unlocking a deadly range of new options. Activate perks to boost damage resistance and delivery. Increase your resilience and focus. And add new skills to help you and your teammates. Unlock weapon upgrade tokens to supercharge your arsenal. Power up elemental bullets. Increase your magazine. Even take back enemy health. Ranking up will also reveal item modifiers. Special melee attacks weapon executions, cosmetic items, and more. The dead won't know what hit them. Returning in Zombie Army 4 is Horde Mode, a satanic gauntlet to test your zombie slaying abilities. Play in a team of one to four dead hunters and endure wave upon hellish wave of unstoppable Nazi zombies. Survive long enough and the level will open up, granting access to greater rewards and greater terrors. Blood-hungry enemies, epic weapons, and a harrowing new campaign for one to four players await you in Zombie Army 4. Dead War. Peggy 18.
Peggy 18. I'm Ryan Baker, I'm lead designer on Zombie Army 4. And I'm Andy Pattinson, and I'm lead artist on Zombie Army 4. Uh, we're excited to go through the trailer for Zombie Army 4 Dead War with you today. It's not actual gameplay footage, but it will go through some of the gameplay mechanics and it shows you a lot of things you can expect in the final game. We knew we wanted to do a level in Italy and we decided that one of the levels we were really keen on doing was a Venice level, because it would be so iconic. And we've got some of our returning characters. We've got Carl from the original Zombie Army and the Sniper Elite series. He's back again, armed with his trusty rifle. And we've also got some new characters joining him. Jun, Jun yeah. who is a new character entirely. And as you're about to see here, who he's scoped down on, that is Boris from the original game. So he's got a different outfit this time, so you can see some of his uh, nice prison tattoos that were covered up in the previous Zombie Army games. Boris has um, got one of our new perks. So he's got a perk called Second Chance, which means when he's knocked down by the enemies, he's equipped with just his pistol, but if he manages to take out some enemies whilst downed, he'll get instantly back up. And you're just about to see in a second, we'll have another new character that's available to play as. She's going to come she sliding, sliding in. Sliding in. And that slide in is one of our new mechanics, so you can... We've got several new melee attacks. You can do a normal bash to stagger enemies backwards. You can shoulder barge through a crowd of enemies, or you can do what Shola just did there, and that's slide through, sending um, zombies flying. So we're really amping up the sieges this time round. Uh, there'll be a lot of preparation, so you can plant your traps like the tripwires, and there are other variants such as the explosive landmine and also the incendiary S mine. We can see the electric trap that we have in the game, which is based off a tripwire trap. Again, this is quite a large part of the whole franchise. And in addition, there'll be various traps around the environment. Here, we can see Jun starting up a generator to electrify some of the fences. And this will slow down the horde in bashing down those fences, trying to get to our hero characters. So the zombies will walk into it and get electrocuted, and then they will have their entire head pop off. It's yeah, quite... I think that's my favorite bit. It's just that electrifies them enough and that the one first hit will his head will explode and here we are with the uh the x-ray bullet cam that is back for this title uh we've obviously had it in the previous zombie armies and also the sniper elite series and it's back and it's... new and improved yep so it's got it's expanded we've also got the explosion kill cams as well so if you manage to trigger a particularly impressive grenade or a trap that takes out a big group of zombies you'll get slow-mo kill of all of those with some x-ray in which is they look great and there's body parts flying everywhere there's also a lot of dismemberment in some of our bullet cams so if you shoot through a group of enemies you might see the arm get ripped off one and then the bullet follow through and hit another enemy in the leg taking that off so here you can see our heroes uh, fighting against the horde but there'll be more enemies than just the normal zombies to deal with as you can see here we've got our heavy flamer who is based on the super elites from the original zombie army he's a new variant that has a massive flamethrower takes a lot of damage to get him down but luckily he's got some weak points one of which you've just seen carl shooting at from his balcony which is the fuel tank on his back hit this enough times and boom You'll be glad to hear that uh, once the Heavy Flamer drops the flamethrower, you are able to pick it up as a character and use it to your own advantage. Here we've also got another heavy weapon. This is the heavy machine gun that Jun's using. It's uh, two MG42s strapped together to make a rather impressive weapon. It's great for mowing down large hordes of, um, 
of the undead. And as the trailer is showing, you can actually pull it off of its uh, mount and you can use it while moving. You can see Carl making use of his different weapons. So he's got his rifle, but he's pulled out his pistol for his close quarters combat. They'll also have access to machine guns and shotguns. All of the weapons that they can carry on themselves can be upgraded in some form with uh, lots of very interesting upgrades we've got, such as attachments that electrify your bullets and lots of uh, very over-the-top stuff, which looks great. So we have another returning character, which is uh, actually Hitler. He is back from hell, which is where you sent him at the end of Zombie Army Trilogy. So it's your job to battle across southern Europe to make sure Hitler doesn't make it back to Earth with his undead horde. That's it from us for now. Thank you very much for watching. Zombie Army 4 Dead War will be coming in 2020. If you want any more information, follow the links below.